Latvia will transfer to Ukraine all its stocks of the Stinger manpads. The Minister of Defense of Latvia, Inara Mernis, announced that at a meeting of the contact group on defense of Ukraine, the portable air defense systems will be delivered to Ukraine in the shortest terms. Latvia responded to Ukraine's request for the supply of air defense systems and decided to transfer to Ukraine all Stinger manpads that we have. We will do everything to deliver them to Ukraine as soon as possible. The article reminds that Latvia continues to implement the training program for Ukrainian servicemen. The country's goal was to double the number of Ukrainian soldiers trained in the country this year compared to 2022. Now we see that we will be able to train even more Ukraine's military at various levels. I am sure that by the end of the year, Latvia will train almost 3,000 Ukraine servicemen. At the same time, the Minister of Defense of Latvia emphasized that Riga, together with other allies, is working on a new initiative to train soldiers of the armed forces of Ukraine in Latvia. The FIM-92 Stinger missile belongs to the manpads category. Light, comfortable, they can be controlled even by one person, or formally two, they are a very effective and dangerous weapon in the fight against enemy aircraft. But became widely known thanks to the Taliban, who used it to shoot down Soviet planes. The FIM-92 Stinger missile itself consists of several main elements, a section with a homing head in front of the missile, a warhead, a propulsion section and a control section. Two engines are used to launch the rocket. The launcher, which is a small rocket engine, allows the rocket to leave the container it is in and move to a safe distance from the operator. The Stinger's two-stage main cruise engine then works to accelerate the missile to target speed and maintain it throughout flight. The FIM-92 Stinger launcher includes an operator grip and trigger, as well as a homing and homing system and the so-called BCU, or battery cooling unit. This ensures that the guide head will be cooled just before takeoff, and the entire system will receive the necessary energy. Handheld rocket launchers are the lowest level of anti-aircraft defense, and in the case of infantry, are essentially a last resort, helping to destroy not only enemy manpower, but also their support equipment. The light weight of the entire set allows one soldier to carry it and use it at a critical moment for a military unit. The FIM-92 Stinger missile, fired at the right time and by a trained operator, is actually very difficult to disable, even against modern aircraft. If the gunner attacks, for example, a helicopter and does it at a relatively short distance, the crew of such an aircraft has almost no chance, since the defense systems installed on the ship will have little time to react. It would seem that the FIM-92 Stinger is a manual launcher and there shouldn't be any other options for launching this missile, but not everything is so simple in this situation. Its high efficiency has led to the creation of various modern military systems equipped with this missile. I think many of you have heard of the high-mobility multipurpose wheeled vehicles, called HMMWVs, which have found their way into the civilian market as well as the military. It includes a combat vehicle with eight FIM-92 Stinger missile launchers, called the M1097 Avenger Air Defense System. Another vehicle used by the Stingers was the Bradley Linebacker, a vehicle based on the Bradley chassis and designed for SHORAD, short-range air defense, protection of its own troops.
The Stinger system is passive, as already mentioned, that is, it itself does not have radiation that can be picked up by the onboard protection systems of airplanes or helicopters. Fire and forget system thanks to this, the operator only needs to capture the target, release the missile and can immediately proceed to further actions, because the missile will. To avoid personal loss, the FIM-92 Stinger missile can communicate with friend or foe aircraft systems and before firing. An effective control system can correctly calculate the missile's trajectory, which helps to hit moving and maneuverable targets. The Russian MiG, Su and Tu aircraft surveillance systems have a special status, being recognized almost automatically by missile launchers as enemies.